Well, today we're gonna do this dress. I am so excited. Um, I love also the pattern of the fabric, so let's go. <laughs> Just so you know guys, the dress is going to be on my size. We're going to start from the top of the dress first. Uh, I'm going to do the measurements first and then of course I'm going to start cutting the fabric. <laughs> The thing that I'm doing right now is that I am taking uh, to to like to lay the measurements right. So I take the this this uh, area's measurement from here to there, and then lay it on the in the fabric, and then do the other one so I can just put them all in the same place. Um, yeah. So I uh, uh, I did the armholes. Now I'm just doing the sides. Or the curves. Uh, now I'm doing the neck. This is a this is gonna be the front of the dress, which is like the front neck. Yeah, it's normally it's a little bit deeper than the back of the dress, and I'm gonna separate the fabric to two pieces, back and front. I'm gonna do the front first, um, and I will leave the back alone till I finish the uh, front this is the front armhole um, also after I, I uh, draft the, the fabric in the, the dress form sometimes I also adjust the what you call adjust the, me the measurements also because sometimes I don't do them perfectly right you know and, and that's what it worked with me now i'm doing the back of the dress um yeah i left like a half an inch for the zipper so i won't be like oh what am i gonna do how i'm gonna put the zipper and then it'd be like it's gonna be so tight so i left like a little bit fabric um like seam allowance I guess for the zipper this is the armhole for the back of the dress right now I'm gonna do the same uh, process of the front in the back and right now you take a small piece from the top like the sh in the shoulders because our shoulders they're not um, they have a little bit um, they go down in angle, I think. <laughs> yeah, if that makes sense. The sleeves. I had like, I struggled with the sleeves actually. I should have. <laughs> As I told you before guys, I struggled for real with this sleeves because I used to, I guess, do a lot of buffs and a lot of sleeves. 
so uh, I had to take them off again and cut them and put them back now we are doing the tr front of the dress I I cut those things for real like for not for real I cut them actually so I can I'm um, like to know exactly where am I gonna start sewing and where I when I'm gonna finish you know what I'm saying um yeah so we'll finish the front of the dress and I will draft it in the dress form Okay, I drafted it in a dress form and right now I'm just trying to put the mark so I can sew in these places um, but also like uh, for in the, in the in the video I'm gonna start I'll take them I'm gonna take them off again and then cut them from the beginning and now I am putting the front with the back I'm gonna pin everything together this way uh, it will be easy for me to just go ahead and sew it you know this is like this is the other second piece of the back <laughs> girls together and I <laughs> I don't know how that happened but anyway I, I suppose I not, I'm not supposed to sew on this side because I'm just gonna be shoving everything in the sewing machine <laughs> which is so difficult and look at that actually I, I also that wasn't perfect what I did here you see there's still some some spots that's still loose and it's not really um on their the, the way they're not the way that's supposed to be so i had to take the dress again take it apart again you know i uh, i cut the thread and i uh, took it apart and I put it back again after I like uh, anyway tried to perfect it um, but it was it actually because I was um, I wasn't happy with the way that it was before <laughs> so when I took it off and, and then I uh, sewed it again and I put it on it was just right
you can see those are my babies the sleeves that they gave me a really hard time um, yeah I started selling them so I'm, I'm of course you're gonna sell them in the wrong uh, side of the fabric <laughs> uh, yeah and I am pinning the sleeves on the bodice of the dress uh, so it would be like uh, I mean so it will be so easy for me to, uh, to go ahead and show them in the machine let's go put them on oh and this is the bottom of the bodice of the dress I, I you do like a small curve so everything that will fit right and now I got the very bottom, which is like the bottom of the, the, the dress. It's like if you lay it flat, it's supposed to be a circle. So, yeah, I'm gonna attach everything together. And I uh, will show you. <laughs> Let's attach this baby to the dress and um, I'm gonna pin them together this way it will be so it'll be just e uh, fast for me to finish this uh, the, the process here finish pin them pinning them and um okay i'm gonna also uh tell the bottom and do the sleeves the bottom of the sleeves okay and here we are putting the ruffles in the top they're supposed to be three but i found like when i'm doing the dress i found three hours it's too much so i decided to do them just to do so I decided to do just two and I had a very hard time uh, putting them because it's just right now they say it looks so pretty you know but then, then I guess didn't know like should I put them a little bit higher a little bit lower um, but anyway what I was saying right now is like I really like it you know and here I'm putting the uh, okay I want to exercise exercise explain this I am doing right now the neck okay so um, it's gonna be just like plain neck nothing is gonna be on it there's no color at all I'm just gonna lay another layer of the fabric it's gonna be like in inside to just make the neck look round and neat so I'm gonna what, I'm, what I did right now I traced it in other sorry about that I traced it in, in in other piece of fabric and I'm gonna cut it the same way in the same size of the neck that I cut earlier this should be like similar um, 
just like this one small piece and then I'm gonna sew them together um, and after I sew them together I'm gonna slip it the in uh, the uh, inside out and then I'm gonna just try to pin it in the fabric this way it will look just like um, a very clean and neat way I'm gonna do the same process in the back pin 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 everything together you should pin them and then take them to the machine you do these small cuts to like when you flip it in the other side they're not gonna be like like um what they call like a uh, stretchy and um, they don't look nice if you didn't this is uh, small cuts in the fabric um, okay I iron the bottom and I'm still planning how am I gonna do this the hem and the very bottom so we're gonna you're gonna flip it again and look at that that's our neck it's finished and it looks so pretty okay I am having the bottom now the dress the bottom <laughs> the bottom of the dress him 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 it took a lot of time for me to finish it.
And you know what that means. <laughs> the zipper. Um, it's gonna be invisible zipper before you put the the zipper, especially the invisible one, in the in the garment. You need to iron it, iron it, iron it, iron it, and uh, pin it. Of course, you know, um, it will be a lot easier. I also had hard time installed in the dress. <laughs> Sorry. Let's start with the ruffles. Um, I pinned the. Uh, okay, my camera died, so I had to. No, I, I didn't take a video of how I did the ruffles, but I got like a different fabric, uh, the same, almost the same color, and I put it. I laid it on the other side, and then I put like a long two pieces from the what you call from the tube fabrics, and then I start making the ruffles. I pinned them. And right now I'm just gonna sew in the very edge of the fabric. I don't want to have like um, I don't. The reason why I'm I'm sewing in the very edge because I don't want to sew it in a, a little bit in the inside. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna make just very weird looking on the ruffles. I had a hard time doing this, but it's worth it. It's it came so nice and beautiful and neat so clean guys what do you think um, down below and don't forget to subscribe and share and I will be posting these pictures also on my Instagram now let's just attach them attach the ruffles to the dress and uh, we are done from the whole dress I did this dress almost on three days three days probably I mean I don't know it took a lot of time for me I, I think it's a lot of time so finally da 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 drum there you go <laughs>